What's going on guys, I'm back with another video. Without further ado, let's get straight to the point. Fernanda Montenegro is considered to be the greatest Brazilian actress of all times. She recently appeared on the magazine Quatro Cinco Um, with the headline Saber Livros e Bruxas, which means about books and witches. Appropriately enough, the entire photo shoot is all about witchcraft and occult elite symbolism. On this pic, she has eyes on her hands, a symbol associated with magic. Burned at the stake with books about witchcraft. The magazine features an article about the link between feminism and witchcraft. As seen in previous videos on this channel, the promotion of black magic as a potent tool for empowerment is an important part of the agenda today. The one eye sign proves that, despite claims of empowerment, the push for witchcraft is actually about submission to the occult elite. This is a bag distributed by the restaurant Temple of Seton in London. First, notice the same exact magic symbol as the previous picture. Second, notice the play on the word Seton, the name of a vegan ingredient, to make the restaurant an all-out satanic experience. The logo features a prominent inverted cross. Satanic symbolism is mostly based on the corruption of Christian imagery and tradition. Here, the classic image of Jesus holding a lamb is corrupted by replacing his head with a goat. This is how they announced they were coming to the US. This entire gimmick is strangely similar to the very satanic ice cream franchise Sweet Jesus. This is the cover of Avon catalog. Yup, she's holding the head of a goat, the main symbol of Satanism. An occult symbolism, holding the horns of a goat, means drawing power from black magic. For some reason, people at Avon needed to recall this powerful symbol. In this pic, the influential occultist Marina Abramovic displays her love for black magic. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Jennifer Hudson was featured in an As If magazine photo shoot, and the entire thing was all about monarch mind control. More specifically, beta kitten programming. As stated numerous times on this channel, monarch programming is represented in popular culture with monarch butterflies. Beta kittens are often identified by wearing feline prints. This photo shoot combines both elements plus other symbolic imagery. Here, next to Hudson, there's an actual kitten. Inside the kitten's mouth is a diamond. While this detail might seem random to most, diamonds hold a specific significance in the monarch system. They are used to identify presidential models, high-level beta slaves. To make things extra obvious, Hudson wears feline prints in front of a feline print background. Here, she is literally draped in the wings of a monarch butterfly, representing her being a monarch slave. On top of that layer is a feline print coat, representing the extra layer of beta kitten programming. Once again, Jennifer wears feline print. She also holds a bag of money. Well, it's a fake for show only drawn on bag. That pretty much sums up the life of a celebrity MK slave. Speaking of monarch butterflies, this is Billy Porter at the Critics' Choice Awards. As usual, he is wearing a lavish dress. He is also covered in butterflies, including a massive monarch butterfly on his chest. Though these butterflies might not necessarily mean that the person is an actual MK slave, it does mean that they are fully subservient to the occult elite's agenda. Need more proof? Keep watching. Pete Davidson was featured in Paper Magazine's Break the Internet issue, and the photo shoot was emasculating. Like, literally. In these highly symbolic pics, Davidson is depicted as a plastic Ken doll, and is surrounded by objects reminiscent of childhood. The entire thing is drenched in monarch mind control symbolism. 
In this pic, Pete stands on a dualistic checkerboard floor, a staple of MK symbolism. Here, Davidson is portrayed as a young boy as he sits on a race car bed. Amongst the toys, we can see all kinds of pills, alluding to the drugging and dissociation of an MK slave. On Davidson's pajama are yellow smiley faces with long creepy fingers hiding the eyes, more MK symbolism. We can also notice that the window and the closet are drawn onto the wall, hinting that Davidson lives in a fake environment where he is reduced to the state of a drugged up child. Davidson leans on a mother figure partner, it's ambiguous, who is also a plastic doll. In MK programming, slaves have mother figures named grand dames, who are often MK slaves themselves. Davidson stares into the void, completely out of it. Here, the grand dame steps on Davidson's non-existent private parts, more emphasis on emasculation. There are straps on his outfit, hinting to the fact that he is restrained and forced to withstand this abuse. In the sky, the clouds are in the shape of broken hearts. This might be a reference to Davidson's relationships with girls who happen to be high-level elite pawns. Ariana Grande, Kaya Gerber, and now, the 26-year-old British actress Phoebe Dynever. The close-up on a shoe on Davidson's parts. They really want you to get the message that he is being emasculated. This is a vital part of today's elite agenda. As usual, the one-eye sign was all over the place. To make sure that the world is fully exposed to this symbolism, the sign is often prominently featured right on the cover of magazines. I can't post all of them here, because you'd be spending hours to watching them. However, here are the most symbolic and significant ones. The cover art of Taylor Swift's album, Lover, features a cute little heart over one eye. What a cute little way to indicate that she's a cute little industry slave. This is Naomi Campbell in ID magazine. A snake hides one of her eyes, and while another one is sneaking into her dress. It sums up perfectly the life of an industry slave. Nicole Kidman in Vogue Australia. Big obvious one-eye sign. This person knows a lot of dark secrets of the occult elite. Research her father. This is actress Lucy Boynton, hiding one eye on the cover of Bazaar Mexico. She uses a flower to do it, which is very clever. Reese Witherspoon on the cover of Harper's Bazaar. The spider web ends up focusing on one eye. Pure cleverness. Scarlett Johansson casually hides one eye in LUSA. Actor Ian Sumralder does an oh-so-clever one-eye sign on the cover of Sean magazine. R&B singer Raphael Sadiq is back after an eight-year hiatus. Of course, in order to remain in the industry, he has to throw up the sign. This is the picture used to promote his new tour and album. British actor Cynthia Rivo also needs to make ridiculous hand signs on camera to remain in the good graces of the elite. Here's yet another magazine cover featuring Greta Thunberg and yet another pic of her with one eye hidden. On this cover, she is compared to Joan of Arc. John Rahm hides one eye with a golf club on the cover of Golf Digest. At the very top, it says, John Rahm eyes the next level. Yup, that's what you have to do to reach the next level of fame. Rahanna on the cover of ID magazine. Her face says, I am so sick of doing this one eye sign. Willem Dafoe on the cover of El Pace Icon. Even award-winning veterans have to do this crap. Here's yet another Netflix series that is promoted with a big fat one eye sign. In case you didn't know, Netflix is 100% down with the agenda. This is an ad for a series titled Interrogation. As you can see, there's a very clever and creative one-eye sign there. Wow, this is the other side. So clever. I don't know exactly what the show is about, probably about an interrogation, but the one-eye sign indicates that there's most likely some elite agenda pushing in there. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. 
apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.